In today's video, we're talking about Divi's latest feature, which is the full site front end editing with Divi. So we're going to be able to edit our headers and footers or pretty much any part of our template without going to the theme builder. Let me show you how this works. But before we get started, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I'll give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. All right, let's get started. Let's say I need to edit my header. So all I have to do is to enable the builder here. So now you're going to notice that when I hover over here, we have this new feature which says edit header template. So we don't have to spend time now going to our theme builder, which I'll show you how we used to do before. So if I want to edit my header, I can just click here and get into the header. I can also edit my footer because I already have a template. So I'm going to scroll all the way down here. And again, you notice that when I hover over here, it now says edit footer template. So I can just go straight in here and start editing the footer. And as you can see, I've got access to my footer and it's pretty much our normal uh, Divi editor. So let's say I need to get rid of uh, this email opt-in. I can just um, go in and delete it like that. And now it's gone. And when I save this, this has now updated across pretty much my whole website. So as you can see, I did not need to go into the theme builder. Now let me show you how we used to do it before. So before, if we wanted to edit our footer, what we'll need to do is to come over here, click on dashboard, and then we'll come all the way down here to Divi, and then click on theme builder, and then we're gonna come over here to either our global header or our global footer to make all the edits. So we will click, for example, over here. So this will take us now into the uh, header. And then once we're here, we can start editing our header. Like for example, let's say I need to uh, make this logo smaller. I would go in here and uh, customize the logo by just clicking on design and then sizing and reducing the size of our logo down to about say 22%, save. Now you see, before when we used to design this, uh, we did not have the ability to see the rest of the page and uh, give context to how the header is now looking to the rest of the page. All we had was access to customize the header. But now with this new feature, it gives us the ability to see what we're editing against whatever page that we're on. And I think this is really, really good. So let's go back in and let me show you how we can further customize our site. So I'm just gonna save this and then go back to our main page. So when we take a look at this, uh, you can be literally on any page on your website. And whenever you see this enable builder, you can just click on that. And whatever template you need to work on, you can just go straight into the template and start working on it. Now, here's the thing. The question is, how do you know which mode you're in? Are we in the template mode or are we in the normal mode? So that's what I'm gonna show you now. So if I were to go into the template mode, I would click here on edit header template. And now I am in the what? In the in this mode. But if I need to edit any other content, let's say I have finished editing here and I'd like to now edit the rest of the website. All I have to do now is to hover over here and now it says edit post content. Okay, so this is the differentiation. So here you can see this is active. And then on the bottom here, it says edit post content. So now I'm back to my content, which is the normal way of editing. And then when I hover over here, it says edit header template. So this makes the process of designing our site much, much easier. We have um, minimized the amount of steps that we need to take to get to our theme builder. But it doesn't mean that uh, everything can be done from here per se. It just means that when it's time to edit, we can edit here, but we still need to go into the theme builder to load all the templates first in order for them to be edited on the front of our website. So the next question now is, what if you're not using the theme builder? Well, you really should be using the theme builder because it just makes the design workflow easier, makes your website faster and even more consistent. So anyway, <laughs> the answer to that is, if we are not using the theme builder, then you're not going to be able to see this feature. Okay, because there's nothing global to edit. So that's why it's important for us to make sure that we use the theme builder. So right now, I know I've just shown you the header and footer. You can also pretty much customize any part of your website, as long as you have a template for it. This feature is available right now. Go ahead and update Divi and you will get access to all these features. And don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.